Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today a little bit of maintenance of the RC cars. One of the points that I'm usually doing is the replacing of the pins in the drive shafts. So this one pins that are in the middle of the drive shafts uh, is required to be replaced quite often. And I have a very nice tool for doing that for this replacement. This one. So I need to place the shaft here, then this one over here, and then using the hammer, I will hammer the pin out of the shaft. It works, it's uh, useful, but uh, sometimes uh, hammer is not always accessible and sometimes on the competitions or uh, on the training, um, it's just a lot of metal you need to take with you and also the hammer. So I want to make a little bit better and useful tool. Uh, base for the new tool will be this piece of uh, 7075 aluminium and uh, so basically I will do only these two parts uh, this one will be with the thread and this one and with the screwing it down I will push out the pin uh, this one will be for the pushing uh, screw and that's it very simple tool M starts from the milling and making square part. I will cut four turns and let's go. Uh, the first side is cleaned. I need to have it completely square. So here I have 15.5 and here is uh, 16.8. So uh, from here I need to remove 1.3 millimeters. I will put it on the vise and let's check. Do we touch it? Yes, we touch it a little bit. So, <clears throat> I'll go down for uh, 0.8 millimeters. It's somewhere over here. I will do clean up of the part, then we'll check again the dimensions and then we'll do the final clean ups with the uh, uh, floating cutter with this one guy. Now it's absolutely square, so all the dimensions is accurate. And the last thing I will do on the mill is this one hole. So somewhere over here. The dimensions is completely custom. I will do uh, 10 millimeters from this side, then 17 millimeters or 15 millimeters of the hole. 15, 16 millimeters doesn't matter. And uh, piece of the hole, 9 millimeters. So I will need to find edges of the feature. Okay, now I'm exactly on the corner.
Now I'm done with milling and time to move to the lathe. Now with rounded corners it looks much better. I will rotate the part and do the same from other side and then drilling of all the holes and cutting the thread. I need to increase the whole diameter to the 7.2 millimeters. I will use this cutter. And we'll take a look how my lace could deal with the inner holes. It's good, of course, but let's have a look one more time. Says if the cutter is just uh, good enough to uh, go over the all entire hole, so let's start. Now I prepared everything to make it red. I will use this cutter. It's quite a small cutter, as you can see, and I will cut the thread inside uh, with one millimeter step. And the last one cut. Now let's check how it fits. So I prepared this one already, as exact thread I want. Yeah, that's quite a good fit. And it's the end. Yeah, exactly as I want. Moving forward. Last one thing to do on the lace is 3mm hole from this side. I was expect that it will be fine for me to do the whole, uh, all the holes from one installation, but it was not possible, unfortunately. So I will need to do it now. Now this part almost done, I will just clean up these marks. And that's for it. But this I will do on the milling machine with the fly cutter. That's all, but not all. Now I need to make the uh, hole behind the thread a little bit bigger. That screw could easily go inside because there will be not enough uh, place to push the uh, pin out from the shaft. Happens. But it's fixable. After a few more passes, it fits like it should. So, completely there. And now I will make a screw. I will start from facing this side and then here. I need 35 millimeters of 8, then here 10 millimeters of 7, and everything else near 9, 10 millimeters, 10 millimeters, I would say.
I'm quite often forgetting to do something before cutting the part, I think <laughs> it sometimes happens. So I need to drill a hole here of uh, three millimeters deep, two millimeters for the pin actually. Uh, also clean up this side, chamfers over here, so just a little bit. And I will do exactly the same uh, screw for two and a half millimeter hole. So I have two different pins, uh, three millimeter and two and a half. Now cutting off the thread, I will try to do it again in the reverse. So first of all, I need to find the zero point. Last pass and I will check how it goes. A little bit tight, I will do a few more passes. Also, I think I will reduce the dimension of this one part to something like six millimeters because uh, I am already have attaches of the uh, cutter over here and they shouldn't be there. Now after one more pass and clean here it fits pretty well. Uh, the last thing to do on the lace with the screws is to drill the holes. The last one step I need to do, it's on the mill, just ahead of the screw. Last operation before heat treatment for the screws, I cut out these leftovers. I'll start from this one. I'm doing a very incorrect thing. I'm catching the screw with for the thread. Incorrect? Yes, incorrect. I'm doing a lot of incorrect things, but sometimes they are working. Okay, I need this cutter. Now let's check how this tool works. So I need 12 millimeter pin for this shaft. I put the pin into the tool, screw it down, now I put the shaft also into a tool. I'm screwing down the screw with ratchet and just replacing one pin with another in the shaft. Here's the old pin and new one is already in the shaft. It's should be somewhere until over here. Let's have a look. Here it is. It's done. So that's the tool. I have it for 
three millimeter pins and for two and a half. And that's it with this video. See you next time.